So we are now going to work on doing conversions of metrics. And the first things first, let's introduce the different metric prefixes that we're going to use this year. Uh, we are going to use giga, mega, kilo, centi, milli, micro, and nano. And notice that right there, that is not a U, it's not an M, it's micro, the Greek letter mu. Get used to it. All right, now notice here are the prefixes that they all relate to, but I want you to really understand these things, okay? Giga is gigantic. It's one billion of, of something to be a giga. Well, that comes down to 10 to the ninth. And mega is a million. That's 10 to the sixth. Uh, kilo is 10 to the three. Uh, centa. Now, centa, the easiest way to think about this is that there are 100 cents in a dollar, or a hundred years in a century, so that's a hundred. And milla, the easiest way to remember this is uh, millennium. Um, micro, very, very small, it's a millionth. And nano, you've heard of nanotubes, nanotechnology, well that's even smaller than micro, so billionth. Now there are a whole bunch of other things in here, I know we've done King Henry, etc. But these are the ones that I've seen. I do not see very many others. Sometimes you see one more down with Pico, etc. But these are the ones that we'll generally use. Okay, so you need to memorize, and the easiest way to set up these proportions is to remember that there are more small ones in uh, the big one. And when we're trying to go from one different thing, say if we're going to try to go from mega down here to micro, you could do the whole move the decimal thing. But however, I'm going to show you a way that will make it easier without you having to um, possibly make mistakes by moving the decimal. Alright, so let's do an example. Actually, let's do two examples, but we'll start off. And let's take something, say, 54 gigameters, and let's convert that to, say, micrometers. That is going to be a big change there. So let's start off. Step one, always write the number you have as a fraction. Now, I could have changed that to scientific notation, which might have helped us, but we can do that later. So I've written what we have as a fraction. If this was meters per second, I would put meters on top and seconds on the bottom. But since we're just doing uh, metric conversions right now with conversions, we'll do it that way. So now what I want to do is I always want to go back to home base. So I'm going to write that up here. Go home. What is home? Well, in this case, it's meters and our different uh, our different units, meters, liters, uh, grams, newtons, etc. Anything without a prefix. So, now notice I do not have any numbers here, but I can put gigameters here and meters. Notice no unit, no numbers first, just units, so that these cancel. Now I look at it and I say this is the small one, and there are a lot of meters in a gigameter. How many? A billion equals one gigameter. Notice I put in the units first, then the numbers so that they're equal. Now I could at this point do the first step and be done with it. Okay, But instead I'm going to go on one more time and now I'm going to go from meters to micrometers. I've gone home, now go out to the next stop. Think about it like this is Grand Central Station. You go home, then you go to your next stop. Notice meters cancel, noticed no numbers. Well, which one's smaller? Well, micrometers is smaller. How many? There's a million micrometers, sorry, 10 to the 6, in one meter. Now I go ahead and I gather up what we have. I'm going to change this to scientific notation to make it easier. 5.4 times 10 to the 1st, times 10 to the ninth, times 10 to the 6th. And again, let's keep our units here. Remember that when doing uh, doing uh, exponents, this is 110, 9 tens, so we have 10 tens, 16 tens. So this is 5.4 times 10 to the 16th micrometers. Now you could do that from using that graphic we had earlier, or you can just learn to do the math, which in that case is actually pretty easy. Let's do another one. Let's do 6,400 nanometers, and, and why am I using meters? Okay, let's just get rid of meters. Let's say um, nanonewtons. If you don't know what a newton is yet, you will. It's a unit of force. I can't, I've never used nanonewtons before, but what the heck. Anyway, and let's change that to centimeters, or centinewtons, okay? 
Well, our first step, step one, is to put it in a fraction. And I'm going to change this to scientific notation just right away. 6.4 times 10 to the third nanonewtons over 1. That's step one. Step two, go home. I'm going to go from nanonewtons to just newtons. Now notice the nanonewtons cancel and I have put no numbers in, just units. Well how many nano in a newton or how many nanometers in a meter? That's another way to remember it. And there's a billion. 10 to the ninth and 1. Nanonewtons cancel. And now once I've gone home, now I need to go out to the next one. And I have, I'm going to go from newtons to centinewtons. Well, this is the smaller one. And remember, there's a hundred cents in a dollar. A hundred to one. Notice the units cancel. And now I can gather up what I have. 6.4, 10 to the third, 10 to the second. And on the bottom, I have 10 to the ninth. And this is centinewtons. Now, there's two ways of going about this right now. I could actually, um, let me get rid of this stuff down here, this is from the homework and let's just get rid of that so we have enough room. Um, now we could go ahead and do some cancellations and take five of these out of here and so forth because this is ten, uh, five tens and nine tens. Now what does this mean on the bottom? It actually means that you're dividing by ten nine times. If you do that in your calculator you'll see every time you divide by ten, for instance if I had, we'll just take this number, I divide by ten, I get 640. Divide by 10 again. I'm just going to do this because they won't be equal. And now I have 64. Divide by 10. And you'll notice the decimal keeps moving to the left. Or when you divide by the tens, it's the same as 10 to the negative number. So this becomes 6.4 times 10 to the fifth times 10 to the minus ninth now that I've moved it to the top. That means you're dividing by 10 nine times. Well, when I add those together, I get 6.4 times 10 to the minus fourth centinewtons. Now this might seem like it took a long time. It really doesn't. You can actually get to the point where you do this quicker. And let me show you the one step that gets faster. And let me remove some homework here. All right. Now. In this case, yeah, okay. Now, in this case, there's another way of doing this. Let's imagine that um, let's imagine I'm going from say uh, 320 um, megaliters, and I want to go to uh, let's say milliliters. Okay. Well, again, I wanted to put this as itself, but I know that mega is times 10 to the 6. So I can automatically just say 220 times 10 to the 6 liters. Boom. I've already gone home. Then I do my second step. Liters, milliliters. This is the smaller one. There's a thousand of them in one liter. So I'm going to change this to scientific notation. 10 to the 6th, 10 to the 3rd milliliters. Gather them all up times 10 to the 11th milliliters. Now you may question if I did this right. Well, I had 320 megaliters over 1. Units first, no numbers. How many of these and how many of those? Well, this one, there's a million of them. Aha! That's exactly what I had before, only I've learned to do that step faster. So other examples of that. Once you've done this a while and you need to be able to, to do the, you know, million, mil, uh, a million micro in the base unit, etc. You need to be able to do that. All right, eventually, instead of doing it that long way, you're going to get used to being able to do things. For instance, if I gave you 320 nanometers, 
which is something we would do for light, for instance, you ought to be able to convert, you will be able to eventually convert that straight to this. Or if I were to give you, you know, 54 micrograms, you'd be able to convert that automatically to this. But don't worry, you know, you don't have to be able to do that, but you do have to know that there are a million micro in the base unit.